I wish I could say that these videos get easier, but I am only on week two, right? So I guess I've got to give myself a little bit of a, a buffer. I've created this channel to bring together a group of women and mums who feel proud to be a stay-at-home mum, just a mum, choosing motherhood, whatever term you want to use. I just want mums to feel proud. I just want to share the journey, the good and the bad, because I can tell you that although last week was um, super fun, as in we got to do a lot of stuff, to be honest, I do feel really exhausted. Um, my days are a lot more physical um, and a lot more emotional than what they would be if I was, you know, at, at um, work behind a desk. And when you've got kids in the mix during the day, you know, there's a lot of fighting and scrapping that goes on between them. Um, Luxie did this, mommy, Vita did that. And it's just like, Argh. really hard as a mum to try and keep yourself calm. And I, I definitely don't, like I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm perfect. I yell at my kids when I shouldn't. As a whole, over the day, my kids have a great time and I get to spend the quality time that I want with them. Hunt. Can you sing we're going on a bike hunt? We're going on a bike hunt, we're going to get to the Under that rock, log. Oh. Go. That's a slater, 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 slater. Where did you find the slater? Uh, um, under here. I think I can see the turtle. Can you guys see the turtle? Let's have a look at the turtle. He look cool in there. I want that one. What's his name? His name is Terry the Turtle. Yeah, Terry the Turtle. The cater shell. <laughs> the bugs are really moving now, so I might put that cicada shell in there. And there's lots of slaters. We don't fight your words. Did we find any worms? We don't find worms. Maybe because it's been so dry that there's not enough moisture under the logs. I just like hot watches and spiders and snails and slugs and hot watches and cheevers and this week we were due to go to Picton, but with the virus starting to seep into the community, I wasn't really keen to travel with them extensively. I know we're all probably going to get the virus at some point, especially considering Phil travels so much for work. But the kids are under five at the moment and they can't be vaccinated. And to be honest, even if they could be vaccinated, I'm not ready to make that decision as their mum just yet. So instead of Picton, we went to Turangi, which is 30 minutes south of Taupo and a beautiful little spot of New Zealand in the centre of the North Island. We took the time to cross the swing bridge into the forest so that we could look for cicadas. This week we've been learning all about cicadas. Vita is very proud of all the facts that she's learned. Is there some? Are there some? Yep, 
Peter's going to get this one off. And there's some. Oh, Mummy, there's some. Yep, I can get them. Cicada shells. Mm -hmm. I have more than that. I just found the one my brother called Luxton. Mm -hmm. And he just thought he got nipped by a cicada shell. They are not alive and they cannot hurt you. So you must be gentle for them and you don't break the shell. Yeah. So what, what's on the side of a cicada? Timbers. And they make the sound of the noise. And can the cicada sing us? No. Can it bite us? No. Can it kill you to cicada? Only if we're stuck in the forest. So what bit of the forest? Protein. 